Hello and welcome to today's tutorial and practice. Today we are going to both learn and practice making a, another GUI. So I've been trying to teach you how to make GUIs using Python and PySimple GUI in particular. I love that library. So this is what we are going to make, a weather app. So I'm going to give it a name of a city like Oslo and press on go and you see country, uh, weather now, condition, max, min, chance of rain, feels like this, and local time. I could also add a lot of more, a lot of more options as well, but I just sufficed to this many. Okay, now this is what we are going to make. And unlike other tutorials, I'm not going to start from scratch and explain everything in a, a lot of detail. So I would just go over the code I will show you how it's done and then I would like you to practice making something like this and add to it. You can also add uh, some other features from this API that I'm going to show you. So this is not going to be a step-by-step -step, very detailed instruction. Okay, so um, let me just show you first. We need to go to weatherapi.com. You need to create an account here and it's free. Basically, you can also take a look at their pricing options but we are going to use the free version that's more than enough for us and uh, once you create an account they give you an API key so try to save it somewhere and copy it and paste it somewhere and then go to this address weatherapi.com forward slash docs and here on the uh, left hand side go down below and find the uh, example here and you can see that if you copy and paste this address, this endpoint, so from HTTPS, and if you replace this part with your API key, you will see something like this. I have used an extension, a Google extension called JSON Viewer. That's why it's so neat and you can see it like this. So this is what you will be given. It's for London, obviously, because uh, let me see. So here you see the query is for London. You can change the name of the city as well. But anyways, so let's get back to it, JSON. Now we are going to send request to this endpoint. We'll get back this information from a city that the user chooses. And then we'll go into location. We can grab all these pieces of information. Location name, give us London. Location region, this location country, UK or we can also go to a local time as well. And current, current, temperature Celsius, 29. Temperature is day one, means it is. Or temperature, condition text, sunny. So this is how we can grab this information and then we'll display it on our app here. So let's see how it works. I'm going to show the code. So this is basically uh, the code weather.py create a file like this then you need to pip install some libraries and modules for example requests and just pip install uh, requests here then pip install py simple GUI here as well this you don't need to because I have just created this file so that I use my API key from this file so that you don't see my API key here. Uh, that is the only reason, so you don't need this part. Now, import PySimpleGUI as SG. This is an alias. Once we've done that, you can choose a theme for your PySimpleGUI. A, a theme is basically like a collection of colors and, and styles that's it uh, then I have also set some options for my Pi simple GUI I've set the font size to be Verdana 15 that's why it's bigger otherwise it would be real small then the first compuls well almost compulsory thing is to create a layout and a layout is basically a collection of lists in Pi simple GUI I have several other tutorials on Pi simple GUI so if you don't understand this, you can refer to those. Now, a layout is basically like a collection of um, uh, lists. Now, every row is a list. You can see here, sg.text weather condition here. And the next list means the next row. So on the next row, I have an input text 
and I have given it a key of city this is a convention to create keys like this with hyphens on both sides and in capital and the key is simply used to refer to this part of the window how do i know the sum like this oslo is coming from this input i have given it a key so that i can identify it later i would say hey give me the values inside city and it will give me whatever the user inputs and the size I've also specified to be 15. Then I have a button here. I have put the text as go, as you can see. The next row, we have one, two, three, four, five items, five elements. The first one is a text, which is country. The second one is a text. This normally is empty, uh, but I have given it the key of country. So I know when I get the country of the API, where I can place it and a size and sd.push makes sure that i push these two to the end of the screen so that they're not next to each other and then i have local time and others so the rest is basically the same i have given each a key just to identify them and later i will know where to paste or place this information okay that's basically it for this part once you have and created and or defined the layout you need to create a window by giving it a name of window sg.window and it takes a lot of arguments but for now we've given it two arguments weather condition which is a title here it appears here and the layout that we've just defined still you cannot see the window even if you um, run it so in order to be able to use this you need to create a while true loop which will always keep running unless something happens now we need this while true loop so that it keeps running and then we can have access to these events and values but how do we get access to this event like a click here or a click here so we use uh, the window dot read to read the window and out of reading the window we get events and values that is clicks and values that is inputs for example so once we've done that we need to say okay if the event that we got out of reading if the event is sg.window closed this is the name for this icon here this close icon so if this is the event that if someone clicks on this break out of the loop and go down window.close that is to close it also from the background so it will not be running in the background now if the event is go that is the name of the button go then something should happen what this is how we use our python skills okay so we are going to use this now when someone clicks on go we need to check the city the value inside this city input we need to get it so i have sudoku city equals values in square brackets city this was the key we gave to this input remember up there so now we know the value inside this I, we have called it city so instead of London instead of London uh, where was that here you see now here instead of London we can put our variable city now and remember the API key also should be there so let's go back now here you see this I have used f formatting f string because I want to use this variable inside curly brackets and I have also put my API key here so now this city refers to the value that the user inputs okay now we have this URL now we need to send a request to get the URL so we would say res requests this is the library that we just imported up there dot get URL so send a request for that URL and turn that response into a JSON file JSON format something like this so that we can have access to like location region location country perfect now that we have this 
let's create some variable for example for city or for country for country we have res that is adjacent and go inside it location and country look so res and location and inside the location go for country and this it would give us the name of the country uh, for that city and the rest is the same for local local time and for weather now we need to go into current and temperature look for the weather we need to go to current to rest current and temperature celsius and for the condition current condition text and it will give us the condition which is sunny in this case so this is how you use this all the information you grab it I want you to do all this stuff yourself now that's why I'm trying to be quick and once we have grabbed all that information about the time the, about the weather or the condition now it's time to place it to place it here where we want it to for example we want the country to be placed in front of the country or the weather now here the condition the max min and others how can we place this now in pi simple GUI we call it updating the window so we are going to update this space here let me close it and write again and I'm going to show you what it means so uh, if we go up there where was I like here so now look here we had SG text key country like this is empty text for country is empty for local time is empty we need to update this this on using this key country and local time and other names we have given them so down below where is that here we go into window the key was country for this part and we're going to update it with what with country variable the country variable that we just got here you see from reading our json file so location country so that's how we're going to now for time and local time again we're going to update it with local time variable that is this one the location local time that we just got and the rest is the same i'm not going through again all of it because i want you to do this now this would be great practice try to add more to it there are a lot of options you can add using this api and then don't forget always always add this window dot close because even if you close it using that window close like this it might still be running in the background then it might cause some issues like memory and whatever so it's great to do that now that was it i hope you liked it let me know how it went and if you managed to do it successfully and uh, yeah share your thoughts in the comments thank you very much for watching and listening